important to determine if the singlet or triplet state is engaged in a reaction, as the outcome can be different. A great way to learn more is to study the stereochemistry of a carbene cycloaddition with an alkene to form cyclopropane. This was rationalized by Skell in 1956. Now, with a singlet carbene, the lone pair of electrons in the sp2 orbital attacks the alkene, and the alkene's pi bond attacks the empty p orbital of the carbene both at the same time, thus in a concerted manner. Because both bonds are formed at the same time, the sense of stereochemistry of the alkene is retained with the stereospecific formation of a single product cyclopropane. When a triplet carbene reacts with the alkene, the outcome is different. The triplet has two electrons that have the same electron spin. One of these electrons forms a bond with an electron of the opposite spin in the pi bond of the alkene. Only one bond is formed at this stage. Thus, the reaction is stepwise and not concerted. But now, the remaining radicals originating from the alkene and the carbene are the same spin state. Thus, they are spin forbidden and cannot form a bond together. One of the electrons can be spin inverted. Now the two electrons are of opposite spin, so can react. However, the spin inversion takes a significant period of time, and during the inversion, the single bond that was previously the double bond of the alkene can rotate. Thus, when the two remaining radicals are now spin allowed of opposite spins, the single bond may or may not have rotated to give two different conformations. We have lost the stereospecificity. Now the spin allowed radicals in each conformation can react to create the final single bond, forming two separate cyclopropanes that are stereoisomers of each other. That's to say two molecules that have the same atoms connected in exactly the same way, but have a different spatial orientation. For this to be true, we assume that the bond rotation is faster than the spin inversion. So we can distinguish between singlet and triplet state carbenes. Now when it comes to the formation of cyclopropanes, Normally, it's a singlet carbene that reacts with the alkene because we observe a single product. Often, the carbene is formed as a singlet that then decays to a ground state triplet form. 